I can enjoy a beautiful day like today, which I never would have had before. 57-year-old Tom Nichols has suffered congestive heart failure for several years. Medicine could only do so much, and at one point in 2007, he faced a grim prognosis. It was pretty much determined that I was uh, definitely looking at the end of a long road. I, I really couldn't do anything. I didn't have any energy at all. I couldn't stand up without assistance or walk more than a few steps. That's when doctors at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine suggested a portable ventricular assist device, or VAD. The devices are implanted to help a failing heart pump. Right now, we're using these ventricular assist devices in two ways. One, to bridge people to heart transplant, to keep them alive until they get a heart transplant. And for those who aren't transplant recipients, transplant candidates, to use it as a long-term mode of keeping them alive as long as we can. This is the controller which keeps my heart pumping. Many patients like Tom don't qualify for transplants, so they will likely live long term with the device in destination therapy. This device, called the HeartMate 2, includes a battery, controller, and attachments through the abdomen. The devices we put in most are what are called continuous flow devices. That is to say they have a, a, a suction device or a, a catheter that goes into the tip of the heart. It goes in, the blood is then sucked into a pump which pumps the blood around and it flows continuously. The device is surgically implanted and the procedure usually means at least a week or two in the hospital. Patients have, and their families have a lot of responsibility. It's not the same as having a bypass, having a suture line and walking out of the hospital. They have to be very compliant, be sure to come to all their appointments, learn how to take care of the device and debug it and not be too afraid of high-tech things because it is a high-tech device. That part was easy for Tom Nichols, who now feels good enough to walk and travel. You either get with it or you don't, and it's very easy to get with it because you always look at what would happen if you didn't have it. Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine offer several ventricular assist devices, including some that are in the investigational stage.